Hello and good evening CSI 158 section 847 students for the spring 2014 semester at Anne Arundel Community College. This is the CSI 2 or I'm sorry CSI 158 uh, routing and switching essentials course and this evening's packet tracer tutorial is going to be on packet tracer activity 3.2.4.8 where we are again going to be troubleshooting VLAN implementation. And let's hope that we don't have to unplug a cable and plug it back in uh, that has green link lights and shows that it should be up and up but is not in order to lock down the points. Okay, so we've got a new addressing table here and we've got our ports listed out with the network assignments. So this is basically asking us to find and correct the network errors, document the corrections, and implement the solutions and test uh, the connectivity. So let's go ahead, we're going to do the same thing we did last time. So let's pull up PC1 and we'll bring that to the middle here. And we're simply going to say ipconfig-all and let's take a look at PC1 who's supposed to be a 192.168.10.21 and the default gateway is 192.168.10.1 and it's a slash 24 so PC1 looks good. Can PC1 ping? And PC1 is in port FA011, so it's faculty staff, and he should be able to ping PC4. So let's try uh, 192.168.10.24. All right, no luck as we would expect. So now we're going to pull PC2 up here. And we're going to run the IP config dash all. And you can see that the IP address is 192.168.20.22. And that is correct. And the default gateway is correct, as well as the subnet mask slash 24. Let's check PC3 out right now and see what PC3 looks like. All right, so we're going to, whoops, we're going to say IP config slash all. And PC3 is 192.168.30.23. That is correct. Correct subnet mask. And the default gateway is also correct. So can PC3 ping over to PC6? I didn't do it on PC2, but we're assuming it's not going to work. So I'm going to say 192.168.30.26. And we would expect that with this link here being orange, we're probably not going to get over to the other side. All right, so let's hop on to switch two here. And we're going to do the same thing we did last time. So we've confirmed on this left hand side that we've got the PCs properly configured. Now let's take, oh boy. So here you go. So right out of the gate, you can see that we've got a native VLAN mismatch, right? It says discovered on gig 01. And it says 56 with switch one who's using native VLAN of one. So it looks like our native VLAN is 56 and the native VLAN for switch one is going to be one. And so let's look into that. So I'm going to go ahead and say show run. And what are we looking for here? So we're going to take a look at Fast Ethernet 01. So they've got a huge configuration section here on Fast Ethernet 01, 02, and 03, but those aren't being used. So we're interested in, let's just take a look first at Gig 01. So as you can see here, switch port, trunk, native VLAN 56. And of course, they've got this switch port mode access in here. And that's supposed to be switch port mode trunk. So let's get into Gig 01. And we're going to say no switch port mode access because this is supposed to be a trunk port for us. Switch port mode trunk. All right, and spanning tree is going to do its thing. Now let's look into the native VLAN. So it says right here, the native VLAN for this topology is 56. So we are properly configured on this end of the link. And so while spanning tree is doing its thing, I'm going to go down and let's start out with um, FA06 and FA06 should be an access port and it should be in VLAN 30 and it is. Alright, next we've got FA011 and FA011 should be an access port for PC1 
and it should be in VLAN 10, and it is. And then we've got FA018, which should be in access port and in VLAN 20 for PC2, and it is. So our switch port configurations look good here, right? Everything looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say in and write mem. Now I'm going to come over here, and obviously switch one is our problem child here, and definitely having some challenges. And let's go ahead and sort these out. We would expect to see a native VLAN mismatch error on this side as well, reporting that switch two is using 56, and there you go. Switch two is configured with 56, switch one is configured with VLAN one. And there's also a native VLAN mismatch with switch three. So it looks as if the native VLAN for switch one on the trunk links was misconfigured on both gig zero one and gig zero two. All right, so we're gonna say enable and go from user exec to privilege exec and then config T to get into global config. And I'm gonna say do show run because I know we're gonna be doing some work here on switch one. And let's take a look and absolutely, so if we look right here, Gig01 and Gig02, they are set up as, as uh, trunk ports, which is exactly what we want. However, they're both missing the switch port native VLAN 56 command. So let's go ahead and let's get that added in. So I'm going to say interface range GI01 to 2, and let's say switch port native, whoops, sorry, switch port trunk native VLAN and then our VLAN number, it's gonna be 56, right? And as you can see, consistency has been restored. Spanning tree has unblocked the inconsistent ports, right? And so I'm gonna actually say, well, we'll let, it, we'll let spanning tree do its thing here. So there we go. All right, so it looks like spanning tree is up now. So that was really the big issue. And we were gonna have some serious problems there without the native VLAN matching correctly. So if I were to say show run again, let's see what else we've got going on here. Those are the only two ports that should be configured. And let's take a look here. Our VLAN 56, our SVI, the switch virtual interface, is 56.11. I did not check that over here. And let's double check that and make sure that we are 192.168.56.12. And so that is correct. 56.11 and 56.12. So let me see. Can I now ping 192.168.56.11? Can I ping from switch one? I'm sorry, from switch two over to switch one? All right, I cannot. So it looks like we may have some issues there. So I'm going to say show IP interface brief. So 6 is up and up. 11 is up and up. 18 is up and up. VLAN 56 is up and up. Let's do the same thing here on switch 1 and say show IP interface brief. And there should only be two ports that are up. All right. Whoops. Apologize there. Previous video is finished, <laughs> finished exporting. All right, so here is why we cannot ping VLAN 56 because it is down, down. So if I do a show run, and this will be interesting, it doesn't say shut down, it just shows that it's down, down. So if I do a show interface trunk, As to be expected, the only VLAN in the forwarding state right now is VLAN one, and that is not correct. So let's go into uh, let's go into global config here. And we're going to say interface VLAN fifty six, and I'm going to say shut, and then no shut, and let's see if that actually brings up. Do show IP interface brief. Any success? No. So it's still in a down down state. So let's come over to switch three. We're going to come back because that is going to be uh, a major issue. If I do a do show VLAN brief, aha. So the VLAN doesn't actually exist. So let's go ahead and let's create that VLAN. So I'm going to say VLAN 56. And there you go, the protocol changed to up. And so if the VLAN doesn't exist on the switch, 
then there's no way for that switch to actually forward traffic for that VLAN. So let's go ahead and say name for VLAN. Do they have a name for that? It just says management and native. And I'm not sure you can use that. All right. Do show VLAN brief. It let us use the, um, the character there. Management and native. So now if I do a do show IP interface brief, we should see that that VLAN is now up. Can I ping over to 192.168.56.12, which is switch two. All right, and we've got connectivity over to switch two. Can switch two ping switch one, and he certainly should be able to. All right, so we've got that resolved. Okay, a couple landmines there on switch. Switch one was giving us uh, some trouble. So now let's pull up switch number three. And let's take a look here at what's going on on switch three. So those are the messages we were getting. Let's make sure that that has been cleared up. So if I say show interface trunk, I would expect to see gig02 as my trunk link. And it is, and it's forwarding the VLAN. So let's say show run. And what we're really interested here, really interested in here, is what's going on on FA06. So as you can see, there's FA06, and it's set as an access port. However, it's set as an access port without membership in any VLAN. So let's check to make sure, show VLAN brief, what VLANs exist over here. So VLAN 1 is there. Do we have 10, 20, 30, and 56? We do. So. Let's go ahead and go into global config. I'm going to say interface FA06, and FA06 is connected to PC6, which should be switch port access VLAN 30, according to the address table here. We should be in VLAN 30, right? So we're going to put PC6 into VLAN 30, and I'm going to pull PC6 up right away here. And let's go ahead and say IP config all, and let's see if it's properly set up, the PC. So you can see here we've got the correct IP, correct subnet mask, and it's got this default gateway, 192.168.30.1. Even though we're all in the same, uh, it's going to just basically layer two domain here. So we're going to say ping 192.168, and I'm trying to ping my partner, which would be PC3, 30.23. Uh, and let's see if PC6 can ping over to PC3. All right, no luck. So we're going to continue taking a look here on switch 3. So we'll say do show run. So I looked at port FA06. We've got that resolved. It's now a member of VLAN 30. Let's take a look at 11. As you can see here, uh, FA011 is also not a member of the VLAN. Uh, into which it needs to be a member. And so FA011 is to PC4, and PC4 should be in VLAN 10. So I'm going to say interface FA011, and we're going to say switch port access VLAN 10. All right, so we've taken care of that. So we'll say do show run. So we're going to come down now, and we've done 11. Now let's take a look at 18. And again, once again here, uh, 18 is not a member of a VLAN, so PC5 should be in VLAN 20, FA018. And we're going to say switch port access VLAN 20. All right, so do show run. And 6, 11, and 18 are now in the proper VLANs. And I'm just taking a look up here at the addressing table. VLAN 30 is guest default. Okay. So taking a look at the addressing table here, and now let's come down. All right, so gigabit ethernet uh, zero slash two is our trunk link, switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk native VLAN 56, so that is correct. And how about our interface for VLAN, or SVI for VLAN 56, it shows 192.168. Dot 56 dot 13 and that is correct can I ping switch one let's give it a try 192 168 dot 56 dot and switch one is 11 so let's see if we have reachability 
All right, so we've got reachability over to switch 11. Let's give PC6 a try and see, can I ping over to my partner over there, switch three at third, or I'm sorry, PC3 at 3023, so he's not able to make it through. So here's what we're gonna do right away. We're gonna go ahead and say end, and I'm gonna save my config, and I'm gonna say show interface FA0 slash six switch port. And I'm looking to make sure that they're static access, they're enabled, they're up, and it's VLAN 30, so it looks good there. Let's check FA011. Enabled, static access, VLAN 10, that looks good. Let's check 18. Enabled, static access, VLAN 20, and that is correct. And so let's come over here to switch two. We're gonna do the same thing. And let me see if I can actually ping across. So if I were to ping 192.168.56.13, can I ping switch three? So switch two can ping switch one, and now I can ping switch three. Can switch three ping over to switch two? I think we may have tried that a second ago, or did we? I guess we did not. So 192.168.56.13. 12. All right, so I've got connectivity across on the native VLAN. So let's do this. Let's do a show VLAN brief. Let me make sure all the VLANs exist. 1, 10, 20, 30, 56. And let's check here. Do show VLAN brief. Aha. So this is probably why the switches can ping each other, but we can't ping from PC to PC we don't have those VLANs. If I were to say do show interface trunk, we're not going to see uh, any of those VLANs in the forwarding state, right? And again, I mentioned in the previous video for 3.2.4.7 that this output right down here is critical because this is going to show you which VLANs are in the forwarding state. So which VLANs will have traffic being forwarded and out which interfaces. So what don't we have here? We're missing all of our VLANs. So let's exit out, and we're simply going to say VLAN 10, and then the name of VLAN 10 is management and native. Is that right? I'm sorry, it's VLAN 56. VLAN 10 is guest, and then default, and then VLAN 20 is going to be, I'm sorry, VLAN 10 is faculty staff. So I'm going to go back and fix that here in a second. So VLAN 20 is students. They've got them out of order there. So I'm gonna say VLAN 10 name is faculty staff. There we go. And then I'm gonna say VLAN 30 name is going to be guest default. And do show VLAN brief now. Let's take a look at our table. We've got 10 faculty staff, that looks good. 30 is, or 20 is students, that's correct. And 30 is guest default, 56 is management native. So now if I say do show interface trunk, what should we see? We see, aha, so we're missing 30. So it's not showing 30. Ah, I see, okay. So, the default gateway is set here. Are they expecting you to set the default gateway on? No, because the SVIs, I'm wondering if they're anticipating that you're gonna set the SVIs on the switch to the 10.1. Let's do this command again here. Do show interface. Okay, so now VLAN 30 is in the forwarding state. So now let's come back over here to PC1. And can I ping across? I can. I can hit my partner PC2. Can I hit my partner? And I don't think we tried. That's right. We didn't try on PC2. So let's give it a try here. So my partner would be PC5. So I'm going to ping 192.168.20. All right, we've got connectivity there. So PC3, can I ping my partner? I can, which means that my partner's gonna be able to ping back. And so we are still 
21 point short and it's got to be these default gateways they don't have anything for the switches so let's see show run and are they expecting you so they put the address in for VLAN 56 all right let's see here so I'm gonna say conf t interface VLAN 10 and let's see what this does or if it does anything so IP no it didn't do anything so exit no interface VLAN 10 in fact I'm wondering if they're expecting you to have those do show run let's see what we've got here if they're anticipating that you set these because those addresses aren't set anywhere so I'm wondering let's make sure I read the troubleshoot the misconfigured environment initial object okay correct the following errors so the default gateway let's make sure that all of these guys are properly configured so PC3 is 30.1 PC2 it should be 20.1 PC1 should be 10.1 PC4 should be 10.1 PC5 should be 10.1 or 20.1 sorry and PC6 should be 30.1 and they are however those are not set and I guess the challenge would be my guess is gonna be that they're expecting us to create those let's say interface VLAN 10 and if I say IP address 192.168.10.1 but I don't think that's what they're looking for let me exit out here and then let's say no interface VLAN 10. So we've got connectivity, but we're 21 points short. And my guess will be that they do not have assessment items. They do not. So let's make sure all those interfaces show up, up. Did I not configure something? So let me let me do this. I'm gonna see if this has something to do with it again. All right. So disconnect is locked now. Before it wasn't, and that was the problem. Let me double check and make sure that all of these, that it's not expecting all of these or any of these to be disconnected and then reconnected. So we have end-to-end -end connectivity. And let me make sure. Did we? Are the VLANs need to be named. Show VLAN brief. Are the same VLANs? Faculty, staff, students, guest, man, guest and management. And we just fixed them here. Do show VLAN brief. Faculty, students, guest, and default. So let's check switch two. And do show VLAN brief. Faculty, students, guest default, and management native. Are they in expecting IP default gateway? Well, no. Yeah, okay, let, let's see if that's what they're anticipating. Well, no, they don't give a default gateway for VLAN 56. And again, there's no router here. So, yeah, this is interesting. Let me try it. Let's say 192.168.56.1. so it's not that yeah so this is interesting so we have end-to-end -end connectivity everything is working each problem that's been identified all right well I am gonna take a break here I'm gonna step away and I will come back and take a look at this to see if we can wrap this up so I'm gonna pause right now but we'll be back shortly All right, well, I'm back. I had to run out for uh, some indoor soccer, but I am back, and I actually was uh, looking at this while we were at the game, 
And I think I see what may be missing here. So as I sat back down, I kind of walked through everything. And so one of the things it talks about is we need to find errors in the config. Well, there's some ports that need to be assigned to certain VLANs, and that is something uh, that we did not do. And I think that that's going to end up getting us those missing points. So let me go ahead and pull this back up here. And uh, on switch two, and this looks like it's across the board on all of the switches, at least that's what it shows. So let's see what happens here. So let's say interface range FA01 to 05. And I'm going to say uh, switch port mode access, switch port, whoops, switch port access VLAN 56. And let's see if that bumps up the score at all there. It doesn't, but that's okay. So then we're going to say interface range, and I'm going to say FA0 slash 6 to 10, and we're going to say switch port mode access, and then switch port access VLAN 30, and then interface range FA0 slash 11 to 17, whoops, and we're going to say switch port mode access, and then switch port access uh, VLAN which VLAN would that be? Uh, VLAN 10, and then interface range FA0 slash 18 to 24, and we're gonna go ahead and say switch port mode access, and switch port access VLAN 20. And I'm gonna do that same thing over here on switch three. And let me see if I can get it to pull back the results here, if I can get it to show show an updated score or if yeah it's kind of hung there on that 49 out of 70 so let's go ahead and finish switch three and I'm gonna say uh, go from user exec to privilege exec and then we're gonna say config T we're gonna do the same thing here interface range FA01 to 5 and it's gonna be switch port mode access and then switch port access VLAN 56 and then we're going to say uh, interface range FA06 to 10. And we're going to say switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN two, uh, 30. And oh, it looks like the points have kicked in here. So then we've got, uh, we're going to go interface range uh, FA0 slash 11 to, whoops, to 17. I'm going to say switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN 10. And then finally, we're going to go interface range FA018 to 24, switch port mode access, and then switch port access, VLAN uh, 20. And remember that those are typically the hardest problems to troubleshoot is the ones that do not exist. <laughs> so... All right, well, this wraps up Packet Tracer Activity 3.2.4.8. And after a little, uh, a little mental time out there, I was able to, uh, to recognize that it's gonna, it was looking for us to put those ports as access ports and then also assign those into those VLANs that we have here in the addressing table. Okay, well, I, I thank you for watching, and hopefully uh, this clears up any confusion that you may have had while doing the activity. It certainly cleared up my, my confusion. So thanks for watching, and have a great week, and I'll see you on Saturday.